Hello, NVCC nursing students, and welcome to your nursing research boot camp. We'll begin with an overview of the library's website and services. First, we have access to article databases where you'll be able to find the nursing literature that you need for your research. Next, we offer customized research guides in each subject area. We provide virtual one-on-one -on -one research appointments. And finally, we have plenty of ways to get in touch should you have a question. Here's how to find some of these helpful features on the library's homepage. First, a list of all of the databases we subscribe to can be found right here. Click on Access Databases. They're organized by subject. All the way on the right, you'll see Health Science and Social Science. This is the area we'll be focusing on for our demos today. You might recognize some of the database names already, such as CINAHL and PubMed. We'll focus more on article search techniques in parts 2 and 3 of this video. Next, let's take a look at our research guides. These guides are made by librarians to help students get started in research in any given topic. There's one made specifically for nursing. If you scroll down the list of alphabetically organized subjects, you'll find Nursing, and then you can click on the Nursing Research Bootcamp Guide. This guide can serve as your one stop for finding articles, books and ebooks, videos, websites, citation help, and more. Another service that the library offers is one on one virtual reference appointments. You can schedule one using the Make an Appointment button on the library homepage. Once you select the appointment option, you can choose the librarian you'd like to meet with, the desired date and time of the appointment, and how you'd like to meet. Librarians are able to assist using video and screen sharing software like WebEx or Teams over the phone or using chat on the library's homepage. Finally, there are a few other ways that you can get in touch with us for help as well. If you scroll down, you'll find a section on the library's homepage called Get Answers. Here, you'll see our email address, a number that you can text questions to, another link for the appointment scheduling services, and over on the bottom right, our chat box. You can type a question in here and be connected with a reference librarian seven days a week. We look forward to hearing from you. Now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about advanced article searching in the CINAHL database. First, you might be wondering, what is CINAHL? It's an acronym that stands for Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. It contains thousands of articles dealing with nursing and health related topics. It is also a powerful search tool and you can limit articles by date, country, and author. These tools will be very helpful when you need to find articles that fit within specific parameters. A demonstration will follow. We'll start by going to the Access Databases list on the library homepage. From there, the list of databases will open and we'll look for CINAHL, which is located in the Health, Science, and Social Science box. Click on this link to begin your article search. The search bars at the top are where you can type your keywords. Emphysema will be our sample search. As you can see, it provides some suggestions, but you don't have to use them. Next, you'll want to scroll down so that we can begin to apply some of the limiters. Let's start with publish date. We can set this to any desired date range. Let's put in January 2015 so that any articles published within the past five years will populate our results. You don't have to put anything in the end date range. It's implied that you need today. Next, there's a box you can check. Any author is nurse. This will ensure that any article results have at least one of the authors as a nurse. Finally, the geographic subset can be set to the USA. There are other limiters you can play around with if you'd like, such as limiting the patient population to a certain age group or sex. 
Otherwise, you can leave all of this as it is and hit search to begin your article search. Here we see the results page. There are 13 articles on the topic of emphysema that fit our desired criteria of five years, nurse as author, and published within the US. I'll scroll so that we can take a peek at what some of these results might look like. Next, let's take a look at one of the article results. We'll choose the first one, Clinical How-To, Physical Examination of the Adult Patient with Chronic Respiratory Disease. There's more information about the article provided on this page, but to read the full article, you want to look for the PDF full text icon on the left side of the screen. This will open up the full article. One thing I'd like to point out is at the bottom of the first page, you can see there's a little bit of information about each of the authors. So if you needed to confirm that at least one author is a nurse, you could look here. I will scroll through the rest of the article to show you another important feature, which is the references list. So this is where you can see where the authors got their information from and possibly read some of those sources for further information. If you'd like to read this article or use it as a source on a research project, there are a few ways that you can do that. You can print the article, you can email the article to yourself by typing in your email address here. You can also get a citation for the article by clicking on the Cite tool and scrolling to find the appropriate style. You may want to choose APA or whatever your instructor has requested. Finally, if you need a link to the article, there's a permalink tool, which will ensure that you can get back to the article after your session. One last feature for saving articles is the folder tool. The personal folder will be discussed further in part four of the video for organizing literature results. The CINAHL database is a great place to begin your research, but this next segment will focus on other sources of literature. The other recommended databases for nursing research can be found in the same box as CINAHL on the databases page. We'll be focusing on a few of them in this segment. So here we are back on the databases page, and I'll scroll down so we can see this full list, and we're going to go to PubMed. There's a little description here of what that contains, and it will bring us to the search page of PubMed.gov. And I will do the same search term, emphysema. And here we're viewing our article results. And you can filter by date again. You can use that slider at the top, or you can just select the five year date range. And once you've limited them, you can look at your list of results. And just remember the thing with PubMed articles is that they're not all available for free in full text. But many are, and if you find one that you'd like that's not available, you can contact a librarian and we can see if we can somehow go about getting a copy of that article for you from another institution. Next, we're going to search the Nursing Journal Full Text Collection from Ovid. You can select an individual title to search by using this menu or you can search all of the journals at once by clicking here. Ovid Full Text Nursing Journals. This is what the search screen looks like. Then you can put your keywords here, emphysema, and you can limit the publication year using these drop downs. So we'll set it to 2015 and the end range being just current day. Okay, and then you can click on search. Now the next step is important because it might look like you didn't get any results, but your search actually shows up here at the top. So this third line is your search with the date limited from 2015 to current. And if you click on display results, there are two articles published in the, this journal collection in the past five years about emphysema. The first one is from the American Journal of Nursing and the second is from Nursing Critical Care. So let's open this up and take a look at what an example article looks like. If you needed to double check that 
the author or one author is a nurse, you can find that information right here in the author's title. It tells you their credentials. And there are some tools over here such as a PDF and a site tool. And I'll begin to scroll here just so you can see what this type of article looks like. One more database we'll take a look at is called Health Source Nursing Academic Edition. And this is going to look very similar to CINAHL because it is also from EBSCO. The difference is that there are not quite as many limiters. So there isn't the same option to check the box for nurse as author and limit to the US, but you can still limit your publication date to ensure that you have a five-year date range and then type your keywords in right here at the top. And as you can see, the results page looks very similar to CINAHL, and once you know how to cite, save, and email your articles there, you'll know how to do it here too. The last segment of this video will focus on organizing your article results, and we're going to use what's called the personal folder, which comes with the EBSCO databases. Now, this is an account that you can create to save all of your research articles in one place. I'll demonstrate how to use the folder using CINAHL and the same search that we did before. So we're looking at our results page and this is the article we previewed before. And up here at the top, we wanna to click sign in. Now the personal account, this is different from your MyComNet ID. Um, you can make it up and it can be anything you want. And if you don't have one yet, this is how you create one. But since I have one, I'm going to click sign in. Now that I'm signed in, I'm back on the results page and I can start adding articles to my folder. So I will click on the blue folder icon and select my folder. And I'll go through and add a couple now just to demonstrate, but you can add as many as you'd like. Next, if you want to look at what's in your folder, find the folder icon on the top of the screen. Click on that to open up your folders and you'll see all of your saved articles. What I'd like to do now is create a new folder for nursing research. So I'll call it nursing research and I will save this with my custom folders. And you can add a description if you'd like. Next, I'll hit save. And last, I wanna move the two articles that I just found into my nursing research folder. So I'll scroll down to the bottom to find those two articles and check the boxes next to the articles. So I'm selecting this one and this one that I just added to the folder. Then I can click on move and select nursing research and that will move those articles into my desired folder. And to view all the contents of a folder, you can go back over here on the left and look at my folders and select the one you want to see, so Nursing Research, and choose Articles, and here are your two articles that you've saved about emphysema. And you can continue adding to this folder or make additional new folders for different research topics. Remember, you can find all of these tips and more on the Nursing Research Bootcamp Guide. If you have any questions, you can contact us at library at nv.edu or find us on our website at nv.edu library.